from a small island in Asia to a force of the world that strikes fear in the eyes of anybody who dares to cross us. Welcome back to Politicized Gaming, and today we're going to be playing Taiwan, restoring the Republic of China and becoming a absolute powerhouse. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. All right, so we were able to get Taiwan here. First thing we're going to do is build two electronic factories on our biggest cities and then two fertilizer factories on our biggest cities as well. We're going to pick up a general here. We get a defense one, so that's pretty decent. Going to assign this guy to a army and going to justify on Hong Kong and Macau here. We're also going to train this army to be jungle specialization. We're going to be going down the research path this game. Going to get lots of research. Let's check out our leaders. We have a head of government here that is 29 political power. So I will take that guy. Other than that, pretty bad leader pool right there. So let's pick up the advanced the research. Our main threats this game are going to be China. We have a Philippines player, which is going to make this game a little bit more interesting. Lots of players around this, are there? Oh, nice. Vietnam as well. Okay. I can already tell this video is going to be a, a bit of a challenge, but we like challenges. So that's a good thing. Let's just hope the Chinese player doesn't know what they're doing and they do not go for Hong Kong and Macau first. The Philippines has just justified a war goal on us. Quite intriguing, I guess you could say. It's definitely not by accident because you can now cancel war justifications now. So that was definitely not an accident. So I'm going to take that war goal very seriously. However, I do need some more money. So I will be going for makeout right now. Let's go ahead and up our research spending. I want to get as much research as possible. Okay, China looks very interesting here. Let's go ahead and prepare for that. China looks very interesting with the build up here. Make a destroyer, a submarine. Oh, we need 30 million. All right, come on. All right, can make it the submarine now. Let's go ahead and get on Macau, take get some extra money here. We're also going to make an artillery piece as well. There it is. There's a war justification. I don't know if the submarine's going to get done in time. It actually will. Perfect. And I would build motor and steel right now, but I don't really have the money for that. Especially since we have China on us. So we're going to go ahead and resort to buying it from other countries. I see aircraft parts as well. Nobody has aircraft. Okay, so we're going to be the first person. So let's go ahead and make an aircraft factory. I want to be the first person in, to get in the game to do that. And let's go ahead and attempt to take Hong Kong. Okay, that was a bit inefficient, though, I will say. That was definitely a bit inefficient. As for our next targets, oh, wow. Okay, we're going to be kind of locked in here, if I'm being honest. We'll go, we're going to go for Sri Lanka and maybe Burma. Yeah, we are very locked in here. Okay, he's made some destroyers. We're going to need a little bit more artillery to counter that. You know, we, got, we, we will be making some attackers in the future as well. Get as far off the coast as possible so we can hit those destroyers. Well, you can tell China's kind of hesitating in attacking us. What that is showing me right now actually is that China is not feeling confident. Because if China was confident, they would have warned us. Which means I actually now believe I have a chance because of that. Because this Chinese player does not seem to be confident. Looks like India is a part of the global confederacy. A lot of people are. America also has their own faction as well. It should be an interesting game here. Let's go to make some more tanks. I want to get into Sri Lanka and Burma. Preferably as fast as possible. All right, we have consumer goods now. We can up our economic laws to maximum. Yeah, not, not sure what's going on here. Looks like he's going for a encirclement of some sort. Setting up a naval blockade, knowing that we're not even at war. Also, I also want to get into Africa somehow. So I'm thinking we're going to go for maybe Kenya or Tanzania. Looks like we're going to need quite a bit more artillery, aren't we? China is putting a lot of pressure on us, which is kind of hurting our economy in a sense because we have to focus on we have to focus a little bit more on home defense. Right now, I need to focus on securing the resource nations because, you know, this is a pretty packed game. So getting those resource countries will make us more independent on ourselves. Because right now, our economy is completely reliant on other people and you know you never want that i'm actually gonna drop my research spending we're gonna have to do without it for quite a bit here 
I really need some money in the bank. Let's go ahead and declare war on Sri Lanka. I think we may just go ahead and move these over to Africa. 600 should be enough to take over Tanzania. Okay, we can also get a doctrine now. Beautiful. Static lines, of course. You know, it's the best one in the game. I mean, he hasn't made an army. It's kind of just naval pressure that he's putting on us. I mean, we do have 31 million people, so that's actually quite a bit. Oh, wow. France over here. Okay. As if I thought this game couldn't get any more interesting, we have France owning almost all of the major pop zones in Europe. There goes Sri Lanka. That's gonna open that's gonna open us up a bit more. You know, we were a bit isolated in Taiwan since everybody around us is a player. However, we now have a base in Sri Lanka, so that's gonna open up our possibilities up a bit. You know, I would love to develop Taiwan homeland but the risk in doing that is china declares war on us directly after and then we have to cancel that development so we just waste all of that money taiwan is rank one okay okay we do get a corporate dealing that's actually pretty massive i'm gonna take that we have canada and africa wow okay Okay, I would love to develop right now. I would love to develop. You know what? We're going to risk it. We're going to risk it. I really need to get a dev in here. So I'm going to risk it. Hopefully China doesn't just happen to declare war on us right after we dev like that. That would just be so unlucky. Canada's just going crazy. The man isn't even in the US faction. The USA is just letting him do the... Oh my gosh, dude. If I, if I see one threat in the game, if I see one threat in the game that can maybe compete with us on a skill level, the guy is going to have to be Canada. That guy is a problem. I mean, you can just, you look at this guy and you can just tell this guy is good at the game, right? Probably even going to go for America. Yeah, my guess is that they're going to go for America later on. So I'm going to go ahead and try to tip the American player. Hopefully he doesn't snitch. Let's try to tip the American player. Canada's... Canada is most definitely gonna attack you in the future. Listen, FYI, hopefully he heeds this warning. I'm gonna go ahead and declare war on Uganda as well. We already have a we have a phosphate source now with with Tanzania, so now we need a you now we need a tungsten source. I think it should be quite obvious to see Canada's plans. I mean, to be fair, who plays Mexico or Canada if you don't have some type of goal in the future to eventually take over the United States? I mean, that's kind of just the common, that's kind of just the logic behind playing those two, those two countries. There's really no reason in playing them because you're just taking on a risk of getting invaded at the start by the USA and you're just wasting your time. China's, okay, what? This, this can't be. China left the game? Well, I mean... As long as Canada is in here, I'd say we have some good challenge. Well, we also have Korea as well, which he just took over Japan. That is a bit unfortunate because, you know, going to miss the content of the Chinese Taiwan war. But we're going to get some more content with the rest of the players in this game, most definitely. Yeah, I need quite a bit more money before we just go ham and go straight for China. Okay, let's make some more civilian factories, honestly. We're kind of set resources wise now. Probably should focus a bit more on developing. I would love to put my research back up. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, we're going to put our research back up. Put our anti-corruption down. Wow, a bit late to ideologies, I will say. We still are not aligned. Definitely a bit late there. There goes Rwanda. Let's take over Burundi. We're going to take over Thailand now. As well as Vietnam. Let's go for them. And maybe we can get Philippines. Did they leave the game? They left the game as well. All right. I have kept I have kept my homeland defense. You know, you never know if China may become a player or something. So you always got to watch out for them. Let's go ahead and start jungle specializing these tanks here. War goal on Vietnam is finished. As well as the Philippines. We're going to have to justify Malaysia as well. Because the Philippines did not peace Malaysia. Losing 10 million. That is a quite a bit interesting number, right? We have there. Okay, we're that we're up to 14 million now. We're losing 14 million. That's a bit concerning. 
all to military upkeep. Stuff like the tanks, isn't it? America, I have no idea what he's going to do. He's going to regret that. He's going to regret it. He needs to do something about Canada now. You, you let a player like Canada build up, you know, it's you're done for, you know, you got to kill. The, you got to kill players like this at the start of the game. Could be saying the same about myself right now, but we don't we won't tell nobody, right? Come on now. Let's go ahead and declare war on Vietnam and the Philippines. We're going to split our tanks between the Philippines and Vietnam. 2K should be enough for both countries. We're going to have to declare war on Malaysia now as well. Quite a bit of money lost. Okay, we have a... We can afford an ideology now. Oof, socialism or nationalism, dude? Oh, we're going to have to go nationalist this game. I feel like we really need to get our military snowballing here if we want to take advantage of China, India, and Japan all being AIs. Socialism just isn't going to give us that growth we need. Egypt just said he's building nukes in the chat. I wouldn't personally announce that to the world if I was you, but that's uh, all right. Interesting. Now, the, because now the entire world knows that you're developing nukes, right? So, you know, we're going to, they're probably going to take that as a threat and maybe attack you, right? Really got to get into India or China. You know what the unfortunate thing is, is that they're in a faction, who else wants to see a faction rework? Because I definitely want to. These peace deals, these faction peace deals got to go. All right, we got quantum computing now. Late 2023, not as fast as we should. I think we will be more ahead of Canada, though, maybe. Let's check his trades. Check his consumer good trades. Yes, we're going to be ahead of Canada in technology, which is very important. Not in money, though, as you can just see on the screen. We just went into that, you know. I definitely did that on purpose so we could get the IMF loan for sure, for sure. E, bro, like, like, come on, you got to see it, bro. Bro is literally built a sonar station. Who builds sonar stations, dude? He's almost, he's about to hit 100 million people as well. Quite interesting. Oh, wait, did I forget to declare war on Malaysia? I did. I swear I didn't forget to declare war on Malaysia, did I? Flashback. We have to declare war on Malaysia now as well. We may just wing it and go for China right now. All right, we have. Okay, we have 4K tanks. That may be enough to take over China with Max Tank Tech. That may be enough. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and go for China though. Hopefully, nothing bad happens here. War declaration is blocked. All right, that's interesting. Is it this tank here? It is that tank. All right. Let's see if I can intercept this troop in time. It's much better if we go without is without engaging these Chinese troops and we can just oh wow. Okay, tell me we can get that. Awesome. Okay, we can get that. That troop looked a bit scary, I will say. We're not losing that much oil, so that's fine. The only problem I see right now is the fact that this Chinese troop is reinforcing with an attacker on it. No, I'm just kidding. We're very prone to getting invaded by an exterior force right now. Russia, as well, being in the faction is a bit more interesting, which means he could probably save China if he wanted to. Hopefully, he doesn't do that. Come on. Let, let the let the small Taiwan player form uh, the Republic of China. is my first time doing this. We're going to play this card on Russia right now. Uh, please don't attack me. I'm just trying to form ROC. It would be my first time. All right. Hopefully, we're going to play on Russia's emotions right there. And he does end up attacking. Okay, sure. Thank you. Awesome. We have 1K tanks dedicated to defending East Africa, which is not a lot, but we'll see. This is this is kind of a life or death situation. If we, if these seven K tanks, these six K tanks actually do end up taking over China, it's life. If they all die, to by trying to take over the cities, we die as well. We're gonna, you know, one billion dead doesn't look too well, right? We can pick up a political reformer here, and a chief of staff actually. Okay, that guy might save our game then. That chief of staff actually may have just saved our game. I've been looking at, I've been watching Canada this whole time. I'm just trying to see what he's doing over here. 
Okay, now it should be pretty obvious, bro. I mean, Carrier in the Great Lakes, really? Tell me the America. Come on, America. You got to notice this, bro. Come on. All right, what is uh, what, what is Russia 1's here? Can you white piece? Can I white piece China? Bro wants me to white piece China. I can't do that. <laughs> I need to disband the... I can't do that, bro. I need my... And I need my... What is this guy talking about? I can't do that because uh, I, I can't accept that I just can't accept it dude. that's so unfair that would just ruin the video I can't I can't do it I can't do it bro I just can't accept that actually I think that might even be against the rules as well to accept that as well makes it easy for you yes it does make it easy for me which is what I don't want you know I want the challenge, bro. I want the challenge. <laughs> Let's check out Canada here. Oh, he's not developing Africa, actually. All right, then. He's went for Australia. All right, they should be getting close now. 13%, all right. 10% on Chinese capitulation. I'm pretty sure it's one more city. And then we finally can take care of the beast here. We're actually making 12 million. That's pretty good. Probably going good. We're probably going to go into a mass amount of debt after we take China, though. The deficit's going to be crazy. After that city, it should be good. We should be able to take China now, I think. Nope. Okay, we need one more city then. Yep, literally one more city. I would say maybe spending, actually, is maybe going to be very important here. Yeah. Reduce corruption as well as encourage meritocracy. That's going to be very important after we take over China so we can drop the anti-corruption spending there goes china it's over they didn't even have no money wow okay encourage meritocracy we can drop this anti-corruption spending which is probably killing us right now go for it to fascism as well <laughs> uh, we're rank one yeah yeah right <laughs> we're rank one dude okay we may align ourselves with america here honestly get join the united alliance i doubt they're gonna help us but i mean it's gonna make us look a bit more intimidating to canada just so he doesn't declare war on us and america not taking care of canada when i told them to as you can see like i like i predicted exactly like how i predicted canada is rank one ahead of america in fact we have a doctrine. Let's go for mass production on the airplanes. Oh no, he's going for India. Then we're just going to have to... Man, okay, what do we do in this situation? We might just have to go straight for India after we form, honestly. We can't let Canada get India accord as if he's a democracy. It just can't happen. Or even get the unrest down just a little bit. Okay, awesome. We're now making... We're making money now. Oh, well. We won't be for long, though, because we're about to run out of consumer goods here. God, I, I, I warned America. I literally warned America. I told this guy at the start of the game, bro, to take this guy out, and he didn't do him. Being able to make troops again. What a dream. What a dream this is. Dude's going to take over. I honestly don't think we can do anything about them. I honestly don't think we can do anything about Canada being in India. We have a chief of staff and general of army. They're both right-leaning as well. We may have just we may just have the best military all right perfect let's go ahead and take out the rest of these nations here and form the roc it actually is probably best for us to leave the faction right after we form so we don't get dragged because i'm not ready for a war yet panzer commander i will take that for sure really canada left the game tell me he lagged out please tell me he lagged out Please tell me Canada lagged out. I was lo really looking for a fight there. I wasn't even going to add faction members. I just wanted to join America. A bit unfortunate, which means we're going to have to betray our allies to get some content up in here. Please tell me we can take this city, man. I think we only need one more city, and it's this one, right? We need more troops. We're going to need more troops to take this city. All right, then. This, this single city. Okay, I'll be back with you guys when we can take this single city.
Finally, finally, we took this city, jeez, and we can become the Republic of China. There's the Republic of China. We're now an we are now an unstoppable force. Nobody can mess with us. Who knew the hardest part of that would actually be taking over Turkestan, right? Now we focus on development because uh, the modifier gives us spending cost reduction. Oh, well. Infantry starting experience, building cost reduction, and develop city costs as well. Quite of a bit power. That's a quite a bit powerful modifier, I will say. What we're going to do is wipe out our political opponents now, which is Iraq and the Iberian Union. They will be killed for not associating with our faction. And then we're going to turn around and backstab our own faction. Got to get some content in here somehow. Let's, let's go ahead and put on Public Service Act as well as Prosperity Act. Yeah, developing China basically costs nothing. I we can go for a naval doctrine now. We're going to go for Grand Fleet as well as... Uh, yeah, we're going to go for battleships, actually. USA taking over Japan. Yeah, we're rank one by a mile. Really interesting to see America go nationalist. I don't really know. That was That's not really a good thing to do as America. You kind of want to stay as dem democratic. We're going to make quite of a large navy here. Let's pick up Welfare Act. The spending is so cheap as Republic of China. <laughs> Incredibly cheap. Honestly, I'm going to max everything out here because we have the money for it. Our great and glorious navy is finally done and I'm going to go for building cost as well so we can begin spamming out some planes. We're going to do some bombing. So we're going to go ahead and leave the faction here. Just to fight on Iberia and Hungary as well as the USA and get this dang content in here because we need it. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and justify on all three of the people in this server. If they leave, it's a bit unfortunate because that's we're going to have to call it a video then. But we can say that... I guess we scared everybody off, right? Bro, chill. I need the content, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> you understand? Okay, hopefully he stays in this server. Give me a, give me a fight. America's gonna leave. We're gonna give Spain some money to challenge us, because I would like some content out of this guy here. Give him two billion. Okay, all right. Okay, he's not gonna leave the game. All right, we're gonna get some content out of this guy. Come on now. Let's go. Iberian Union, what a chad, bro can do another development on all of our cities. We can do building cost reduction three, which is going to allow us to spam bombers on everything soon. It's just us two in the server now. If I'm going to be honest, I don't think he stands a chance, but <laughs> good, uh, good sportsmanship by him. Thank you. Oh, hold up. He has nukes. Okay. Okay, that made it a bit more interesting. Okay, he has nukes. He has nukes. All right, that's going to make it a lot more interesting then. All right, then. Not going to lie, I thought it was going to be an absolute steamroll, but not anymore. Yeah, let's just buy out the entire world's oil. We need a lot of oil here. I actually kind of want to see him use nukes, which is why I think I'm going to kind of delay our invasion of him quite a bit until he actually does have nukes. So it should make it a bit more interesting. Keep developing our cities. Wow, that, de that those these develops are so cheap. I am giving this guy a significant time to repair as well as the 500 million monthly. Let's also go ahead and pick up the. Uh, okay, now he just he has nuclear weapon design now. Ooh, nice. This air commander it has bomber attack and attack. We're about to have the most devious bombers on the planet. All right, we have airports on anything, on everything. I think this guy may be cooked here. I think we can give this guy one billion monthly. No, nah, not yet. We're gonna up it to seven hundred and fifty million monthly. What I'm also gonna do is just randomly declare war on an island so I can do emergency war fund. That would be pretty crazy if he launched his nuke on my navy here. There's tank firepower. Yeah, truly some insane tank modifiers here. I saw somebody do this, and I thought it was very interesting to kind of set your navy up like this. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? His nuke actually may be able to wipe everything out in this. So let me spread everything out a little bit more here. Yeah, and then our our tanks are just going to be in the back line spread out. That way, if he does decide to nuke our... Navy, it doesn't wipe out everything, you know what I'm saying? 
and also looks a little bit cool doesn't it so <laughs> oh man look at china over here all right then that's very interesting i believe we should declare war now then okay he launched his nuke i think we can just take out his carrier with the submarines uh we'll see though Well, he's, at, he's still at his, uh... Ooh, what did he nuke? Oh, he nuked our capital. All right. That actually gave us... That took away five stability and gave us one war exhaustion. Which is actually a decent amount for being on a four, so... Do we just go for this guy? Let's just... Let's just... Let's just do it. Let's just go for him. <laughs> Are we going to be able to kill his destroyers with tanks? Let's see. <laughs> oh, man. That would be... That would be funny. Let's see we are okay we're killing his destroyers with tanks bro i honestly don't think this guy has a chance yeah we're gonna start the bombing campaign now and i'd say it's basically over for my man iberia here i think that is uh i think that's it for them so we end up winning against him we're gonna go ahead and white peace just in case he had any ideas for the game <laughs> yeah that is g that is ggs i think that's pretty much gg well played GG well played him. <laughs> Thank you, Ibira, for being a good sport. I do appreciate that. Good, good man, good man. GG well played. And I would say we are basically, yeah, I mean, we've attained the unstoppable status. You know, if we, if somebody, if a new joiner wanted to join the game right now, they wouldn't be able to compete because we would just bomb them into oblivion. Let's go ahead and check out our country before we go ahead and end this video. Our capital got nuked by Iberia, so a bit unfortunate there. <laughs> Here's all of our land, though. Let's go ahead and move over to the diplomatic mode. We own all of China. We are the Republic of China, Philippines, Southeast Asia, most of it besides Indonesia and all those countries, East Africa and down, as well as Egypt, some of the Middle East. We're maxed out on political power, and we're still gaining five. We have... Let's just say 100% stability, basically. Here's all of our policies. Advance the research, encourage, enforce, favor, improve censorship, prosperity, public welfare act. Pretty good on that. 640 million people. Okay, he must have changed the colors in. Okay, we're max dev on... I believe we're max dev, right? Yeah. Blue, dark blue must be ma max dev. Max dev on China. Infrastructure is kind of mid, I will say. Here's our spending settings. Everything is on max. Technology, maxed out on research besides nuclear, political. Let's go ahead and get ideology improvement to make it look a little better. Aerial, we have bombs. Economics, we have up to building cost and advanced financial analytics with tax five. Our infantry is kind of mid. Our tanks are, are brutal. Our tanks are just nasty. Use our naval technology, support technology, none. Military modifiers. We're gonna be focusing on the tanks here. We have five. We have 500% attack on the tanks and 900% defense on the tanks. Pretty crazy. Uh, leaders. Luckily, all of our leaders have, didn't die. Here's our general. He's actually a bit weak. He's kind of a mid-tier general, I would say, for that guy. This guy's all right. Our air general, carrying our bombers right there. I think that is it. And that is everything, I do believe. Doctrines, Grand Fleets, Mass Production, Static Lines. Um, that is our country. That was a pretty good Taiwan game. Uh, let's just say everybody left because they were scared of us, right? And GG well played to the Iberian player for give, giving us some content at the end there. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. GG well played to everybody in this game. And I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to have a great day today if it is daytime for you. And I hope you have a good nice rest if it's nighttime for you. All right, peace out.